taking a look at the Series 2 Marvel Universe figure of Multiple Man. And of course, being Multiple Man, you've got to have more than one copy, more than one figure. And uh, so here is the second Multiple Man that I have. And he's still in the box. I'm debating on whether to break him out. I don't really keep figures in packaging anymore. Taking a look at the back of his card here, it's interesting to note that the write-up here is actually focuses on the ultimate version of Multiple Man. And uh, again, not having read the Ultimate X-Men far enough to get into his appearance as uh in that in that series. I don't know if he this is how he looked like, but he wears a similar outfit in the regular Marvel universe. See here the other figures in this wave. You can see Wolverine, the uh Team X Super Spy Wolverine and uh mystique wait who have i not i've not seen at all anywhere and ghost rider which i have seen but debated on getting probably missed my chance to get him it's got his base of course has marvel on it with multiple man and the number of the figure that he is in the series and uh Pretty standard. He does not come with any add-on accessories. Um, of course, when you're you can make an army of yourself, you don't really need weapons. He doesn't have any superpowers to uh, replicate with, you know, blast or or whatever. I do like this. Um, version of the suit in, and uh, this suit actually is designed uh, or at least the original one which was green was designed in order to uh, help him control his powers so lessen it so that every slight impact would not start to cause him to uh, create duplicates because that's how his power works is that through kinetic force, which is something hitting him, he's able to create that energy into a duplicate of himself. And so this, this suit, with all these weird circles and lines on it, would help prevent, uh, you know, say like if he bumped into a table or something, uh, it would prevent him from creating the duplicate just from that little impact. And a lot of pain issues with this particular character, and at the time this was the best figure that I could find. Um, of course, you see the big gold paint here uh, on his thigh. Again, he's got a little mark of uh, dribble or something right up here. I don't know if that's showing up or not. Um, right above this little circle there. Um, and it's kind of got little, very minuscule dribs and drabs on the arms as well. Um, over here. So, uh, but yeah, this is actually the best I could find out of all the multiple mans that they had at the time uh, until this one came. And it was actually given to me by Aetherus69. 
it's his eye looking at that um, that uh, picked that out for me. Um, which I trust him, so uh, I I assume it's pretty good. Uh, definitely, from what I see, it looks a little bit better than uh, this guy. So I may open him later. Pretty much standard articulation um, for Marvel Universe. Doesn't really have any up or down motion on the head, but it does go left and right. Arms go all the way around, out, rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, upper torso articulation, legs go forward, back, out to the side, double knee joints, and bend at the ankles as well as rotate. I noticed that his his legs tend to spring together as well. They don't really hold their positions unless they're far out. Top secret files. So we get the we get the art on one side and on the other we get his uh, powers and statistics and for his old note thing here. Which incidentally is the first one of these that came folded up, you know, messily. And that comes also from uh, Jonas Harrow, like the Kitty Pride one, talking about trying to extract some of the legacy virus from Multiple Man. Obviously, this refers to the known Marvel Universe, or the familiar Marvel Universe, or 616, and, uh, which is confusing since the packaging refers to the Ultimate Universe, which is like Universe 598734-42, or because they do like to, to name and number them. And uh, Anyway, so that'll be it for the Series 2 Marvel Universe figure of Multiple Man. And uh, stay tuned for some more Marvel Universe figure reviews. And until then, 